Hi, I'm Josiah. Welcome to Penn State Children's Hospital. Let's go on a tour. Right now we're in the lobby. See how bright and welcoming it is? That's on purpose, of course. The entire hospital has a theme of learning and healing through nature. One of the first things you'll see is this learning wall. Nice, right? Well, take a closer look. Even when you don't feel good, things like this have a way of cheering you up. Follow me. There's more to see. And this is the outpatient clinic where I get my chemo treatments for cancer. And this is one of my nurses, Heather. Josiah has a special tube in his chest called a port. We can use his port to take small amounts of blood and give him special medicine to keep the bad cancer cells away. And also on the first floor, there's a safety center. The safety center offers good tips to help keep kids out of the hospital. Around the corner from the lobby, there's a cafe with lots of healthy food options. We call it the Treehouse Cafe. And right now, I'm in the outdoor courtyard just off the cafe which is a really good place to be when the weather is nice. Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm John. And this is our daughter, Leah. Hi! Let's go to the second floor. Floor two. <gasps> the second floor is home to five operating rooms where most pediatric surgeries are done two large procedure rooms, and a pediatric cardiac catheterization lab. This is where Leah had her surgery for a bacterial infection. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Leah. My dad, Leah's grandpa, is a heart surgeon here. Dad, why don't you tell us a little bit more? Well, each year, over 3,000 patients come up this elevator. Kids that go into the preoperative area where they're met by their anesthesiologist, their nurse, and their surgeon. And from there, after everything has been evaluated, they go into the operating room. Hi, I'm Kennedy, and I'm one of those kids who need surgery. A few, actually, to help relieve pressure on my brain. I'm on the third floor now, where there are lots of inpatient rooms, 125 beds on this campus to be exact, each room on this floor is private, which families really like. But even though the rooms are nice, nobody wants to spend all the time in their room. Let me show you another special place. This is a child life playroom. I love child life, especially the staff, like Ashley. Hi, I'm Ashley Kane. I'm the manager of Child Life. Each day, our team supports and guides kids just like Kennedy through hospital tests and procedures, surgeries, clinic visits, and overnight stays in the hospital. We provide information and education to patients and their families in a way that's easy to understand by using books and other creative resources. We also focus on play. What better way to keep your mind off what's going on in the hospital than by spending some time working on a craft, participating in hospital bingo, or having a special visitor stop by to say hi. Our goal is to help our patients and their families feel comfortable and empowered during their time here. Hi, I'm Sam. So now you've seen a few parts of the Children's Hospital, but kids are treated in many other areas too. Sometimes kids are brought here by a lifeline helicopter or by a pediatric ambulance specifically designed to transport kids. Kids may also need to be treated in the emergency department where I am now. The hospital made sure this area was family friendly too. Sometimes after babies are born, they need to be cared for in the neonatal intensive care unit. This is where I spent the first 73 days after I was born, 13 weeks early. Did you know Penn State Children's Hospital has the region's highest level neonatal and pediatric intensive care units? But kids don't even have to come all the way to Hershey to receive care. There are dozens of clinic locations all over Pennsylvania, so kids can get the care they need close to home. And Penn State Children's Hospital is making a difference in the lives of children everywhere by doing all kinds of research, including childhood cancer research, to find improved treatments and cures. I'm glad Penn State Children's Hospital was here for me and my family when we needed it. And thanks to support from people like you, I received the best possible care. Your donation to Children's Miracle Network provides money for equipment, like the pediatric ambulance, or the NICU incubator I used, programs like Child Life, and research to help kids like me for years to come. 
Thanks, Thanks for, for visiting. visiting.